Alright, we're in Hollow Bastion, and the last secret boss awaits throughout this void. X-Death, is it you? No, you got me. Ah, but yeah, seriously, it's not X-Death, though. Alright, now this secret boss is actually foreshadowing to the next to the next main enemy in the Kingdom Hearts series in Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm not going to reveal who his name is, but all you players of Kingdom Hearts 2 know who I'm talking about. And this guy is probably one of the most hardest secret bosses to fight. So, let's go beat this next boss. And yeah, foreshadowing. I am Sam. What's that supposed to mean? Seriously, man, you are just raping the meaning of foreshadowing. Everything this guy was saying, you are not whole, you are incomplete. That is major foreshadowing of the ass. But either way, though, this is... I forgot his, I forgot the name they call him in this game, but yeah, either way, though, what he was saying, you are not whole, you are incomplete. That is major foreshadowing right here, especially for, what ha for what's happening at, during the course of this game. It is just incredible how much this guy just rapes the meaning of foreshadowing. Either way though, this guy, I pretty much have just no strategies for him. Just attack him as much as you can and just hope he dies. <laughs> That's really the only thing I could say. But either way though, this guy, at first I thought this guy was literally the Sith from Star Wars because everything just, what's it called, screams out the Sith. Look at him, he's wielding a red lightsaber. He has the electricity force. I literally, I seriously thought this guy was a Sith, especially because Disney now owns Star Wars surprisingly yeah this is like it, it was not that much of a surprise oh crap what the heck crap dang it come on keep attacking him oh crap dang it yeah you guys thought Kingdom Hearts was childish look at this look at this I swear this is like sci-fi levels of insanity but we haven't even gotten to Kingdom Hearts 2 yet that's the funny part Oh no! I thought I was done with these laser things! Crap. Okay. Oh, he's on green. Okay, this is the, la this is the last health bar. Alright, come on! And the Sith is dead! Oh my gosh. And the galaxy is saved!
Okay, who was that guy? Who exactly was he? Well, you guys, you guys are just gonna have to wait to find out until Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, got searches, so we got all of the Anthem reports. Nice. But yeah, either way though, so, major foreshadowing right there, and that's pretty much it. So, before we end, this, end off this LP, I want to get a few things clear. So, I'm going to be pretty much giving you a bunch of like random Kingdom Hearts tidbits and facts that I think you guys might find interesting. So, the first thing I want to address is the very beginning of this LP. When we were in Sora's Nightmare, we had to choose either a sword, a shield, or a stave, or um, a staff or whatever. I got those things horribly, horribly wrong. I thought that there was something you get, you increase, but you give up something you return. I was so horribly wrong. The true meaning between the sword, and it's called a rod, and a shield, is basically what abilities you learn at certain levels. For example, at level 6, since we chose a sword, at level 6, we got slide dash. If you chose the rod at level 6, you will get stun impact. And if you chose a shield, at level 6, you'll get slap shot. Is basically the different orders you'll le you'll learn th your um the abilities from. So I got that horribly mixed up, and I I just really wanted to make that clear. And now time for a little additional Kingdom Hearts facts. I think you guys might be interesting. So for example, the Pride Lands from um the, from Disney's Lion King were originally supposed to be in the game, but they were cut out, and instead they were put on um Kingdom Hearts 2. So yeah, there's that. I mentioned the thing about um Riku and the Big Ben, and. Yeah, so I did mention in my, um, what's it called, the trailer for my LP on Kingdom Hearts that this game was first conceived on the elevator of all places. So that's probably like, the least place you would want in, um, to, to conceive this kind of game in. But another thing is that originally Donald and Goofy were, were supposed to have their original clothes. As in the clothes that they usually wear in the cartoon. So Donald, um, Donald would be wearing like the sailor suit instead of this kind of Nomura-ish costume if I could show you guys right now. Yeah, he's supposed to be wearing a sailor suit instead of this. And Goofy was supposed to be wearing his, I guess you could say, regu regular clothes instead of like this Nomura stuff. Yeah, let's just call it Norm Nomura. Yeah, and also another fun fact about the 1.5 remix, which I'm playing this on right now. Originally, all the things from Kingdom Hearts 1 were lost. So basically, one file mix on, one, on the remix was supposedly made from the ground up. Which is huge dedication on my part. It really is huge dedication. Now, another thing. Back on Destiny Islands, remember those paintings um, I was talking about? Yeah, originally those foreshadow of future events in Kingdom Hearts, such as Sora winning at the Colosseum. So that is some really sneaky foreshadowing on Kingdom Hearts' part. Another thing is that originally when Kingdom Hearts was first shown off, the title was a lot more different. Now you know the Kingdom Hearts logo as that enchantical thingy, my Bob. Except now, except before, the hearts, the word hearts was a lot more large in the kingdom, and plus the font was a little different. But yeah, so there's that. Another thing is that there was supposed to be an enemy called Assault Rider, which is basically a heartless, like a minute, like a centaurish heart, heartless. Yeah, originally it was supposed to be Kingdom Hearts One, but the developers thought that it didn't fit anywhere within the game, so they scrapped it, and it's a Kingdom Hearts Two, just like the Pride Lands. Okay, yeah. Uh, and you, oh, yeah, there's one more thing. Yeah. Plus, um, originally in the final boss, in the final Anthem fight, you know how we found Destiny Islands. Originally, there was supposed to be an, oh, you were supposed to you were supposed to fight Riku there, in an area called Devoured by Dark. Wait, no, not Devoured by Darkness. Called Crumbling Island, but that was scrapped for some unknown reason. Oh yeah, and I did mention and two more, two last more things. No, three more things actually. So before I mentioned that Riku from Final Fantasy X was supposed to be in the game, but they scrapped her because of the character Riku and they placed her with Yuffie. The the area of Disney Castle from. Well, the Fnatic cutscene we saw very early in the game was supposed to be playable, but they scrapped it for some unknown reason. And one more interesting thing about Sora. Originally, Sora wasn't supposed to be this human character. He was really supposed to be Mickey Mouse. But Square didn't want Mickey Mouse to be the um, protagonist of the game, so they scrapped him and wanted to make a human character. Before Sora came out looking like this human you see right now, he was originally supposed to be a half-lion, half-human hybrid, and wasn't wielding a keyblade, but a chainsaw. Yes, a freaking chainsaw sword. That is awesome. I seriously hope in Kingdom Hearts 3 they put that as an alternate costume for Sora. But yeah, either way though, that's really all the facts, um, random facts, and just little tidbits I want to mention about Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. So yeah, this ends our LP for Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I knew this was going to be my longest LP because, yeah, it's a RPG. And I'm sorry for making the parts like 15 minutes long, but in a game like this, you need time to absorb the energy that they're giving you, not energy, information that they're giving to you. So yeah, either way though, if you guys like what you see here, like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. 
and I'll be releasing an update video very um, very shortly describing about my future projects, LPs I have planned out for the last few months of um, 2014. And overall, yeah. So the next Kingdom Hearts game we'll be looking at is Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, which should be coming out in December and here in North America, and random dates in other places. I seriously can't wait to Final Mix. So yeah, either way though, peace out peoples, and bye-bye. Stay gold, people.